Microsoft's got an event coming up on the 22nd. What can we expect? Let's talk. Let's take a look at Microsoft's announcement for the event. It looks like a slim Surface tablet. The kickstand suggests either the Go, the Pro, or the Pro X. Let's compare the profile of the latest versions of the Go, the Pro, the Pro X, and the invite picture. The invite looks like it's showing the Pro X. However, it could also be showing a newer, thinner version of the Go or Pro, or a totally new device. The tagline is, join us to see what's next. That doesn't give us a ton of information, does it? So let's turn to the leaks. There could be a new Microsoft Surface Duo. That is the Android device with two screens that seemed really cool when it was introduced in late 2019. It had two 5.6 inch OLED displays. You could use one screen at a time by flipping one display all the way back, or you could have multiple apps up on both screens, or even use the device as a tablet with one app running the length of both screens. The Duo was not the first foldable Android device. The Samsung Galaxy Fold was released a month before Microsoft announced the Duo. However, the Duo was something else. It looked like a futuristic device. It finally arrived in September 2020. Then we got to try it out. Yeah, not so great. This thing was buggy and the software experience was not great. The camera was not great. It didn't have 5G, which was not great. With its $1,400 price tag, the Duo had to be great to justify the money. By the time the Surface Duo came to market, Samsung had already announced a sleeker, more refined Fold 2. So that was some major competition. Fast forward to today, and we're at the Fold 3, which is looking pretty good. So what about a new Duo? Images of what could be a new version of the Surface Duo popped up online earlier this year. First appearing on a YouTube channel called Tech Rat, the reliable Windows Central said the pictures were the real deal. The new Duo looked very similar to the original with a huge camera bump on the back. That bump would house three cameras and has a flash to the right. This new Duo seems to have the same style of hinge as the original Surface Duo. So if you completely fold back the dual screens, you would be hitting that camera bump. That seems really odd. Maybe this was just a prototype. Well, maybe not. Windows Central said that these pictures showed a near final prototype. The original Duo didn't feature any kind of rear camera. However, pictures did float around showing a prototype Duo with a camera bump on one side. The other side had a divot so you could fold the Duo completely back without bumping the camera. The pictures of the Duo 2 do not show any kind of divot. The dedicated fingerprint sensor seems to be gone too. It may be integrated into the power button like other phones. Will we see a new Duo? Well, with the leaks, it would seem so. If Microsoft is putting out a Duo sequel, it better have squashed all the bugs and provide a really smooth experience or this thing may be dead in the water. Then there's the Surface Go 3. Win Future, another reliable publication, said we will see a new Surface Go at the event. The Surface Go is the budget-friendly version of the Surface, starting at just under $400. Win Future says the Go 3 will look pretty much the same as the Go 2. So picture the two and you'll have a good idea about the three. The display would stay at 10.5 inches, but there would be new Intel chips inside. There would not be any switch to ARM for the Go. So if you were hoping for a super sleek budget tablet from Microsoft, you may not get it just yet. Well, what about a new Surface Pro? Well, Microsoft released the Surface Pro 7 in October of 2019, then a Pro 7 Plus in January 2021. The Plus added an LTE option, new Intel chips up to double the RAM of the 7, and up to a terabyte of storage. It would be a little odd for Microsoft to put out two versions of the Surface Pro in one year. However, the past couple of years have been odd to say the least. Microsoft could show off a new Pro that arrives early next year, but that would hurt sales in the holiday season. Let's talk about the Surface Pro X. That's the thin, sleek, ARM-based Surface. Its last revision was October of 2020, with the previous version arriving in 2019. So if we're looking at an annual refresh cycle, we could see a new Pro X at Microsoft's event. Notebookcheck.net noticed a Qualcomm reference design for a Snapdragon system on a chip, or SOC, on Geekbench. Long story short, this could give us an insight as to the next SOC that would power a new Surface Pro X. The Geekbench scores would indicate that this version of the SOC would offer an improvement over the previous generation. 
of course. However, it would offer a little more than half the performance of Apple's M1 chip. Then there's the Microsoft Surface Book. That's the one that could be used as a traditional laptop, or you can just detach the screen to use as a tablet. There has been a lot of excitement about a patent Microsoft filed showing off a new hinging system. The patent was found by WindowsUnited.de. The hinge would let you use the device like a regular laptop or angle the screen down kind of like an art table or the Surface Studio. It's not clear with the images if the whole device can lay flat with the screen on top so you can use it in a tablet mode. Whether or not we'll see this design from a Microsoft product at the September event remains to be seen. It certainly is a wild design, and if Microsoft's past has shown us anything, the company is not afraid to try something different. So those were the likely reveals for the Microsoft event. Now, it's wild speculation time. Where's that dang Surface Neo? That's the dual screen Windows laptop that was shown off in 2019. Here's what that was like. Show the clip. In a world that's more mobile, more cloud-based, where the line blurs more between home, life, work, we wanted to make you a product that felt smaller, a product that fit your lifestyle. This, this is Surface Neo. When Panos Panay introduced the device, he mentioned that one of the reasons for the Neo was the line was blurring between home and work. He said that two years ago. That line is almost removed for some of us at this point. Maybe this is the time the Neo shows up. It was supposed to run a special version of Windows called 10X. Well, 10X got scrapped. Here's what Microsoft said at the time. Instead of bringing a product called Windows 10X to market in 2021 like we originally intended, we are leveraging learnings from our journey thus far and accelerating the integration of key foundational 10X technology into other parts of Windows and products at the company. That's a super nice way of saying, we're killing Windows 10X and we're harvesting parts for use in Windows and other stuff. With Windows 11 around the corner, the timing seems about right. Maybe the Neo runs Windows 11, which would have Windows 10X parts inside. I don't know how likely this is, but I really want to see the Neo. I want it to be real. How about new Surface earbuds? You forgot those existed, didn't you? They were announced in May 2020. They featured a design that's quite Circular. They also had touch controls. Maybe Microsoft has a new set of those in store. We will have live coverage of Microsoft's event on September 22nd, so hit subscribe and the notification bell. There's also all kinds of links in the description, so check those out. Let me know what you want to see from the Microsoft event in the comments. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.